I call myself a limnologist, which means I work on inland water bodies. You see out there? Right now there's a lot of concern about carbon dioxide in the atmosphere because it's a greenhouse gas. And so we'd like to know what, what factors are putting carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, but also what, fa what processes are removing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. And we still don't really know what the role of large lakes is in that process. Uh, so the work we're doing now on CO2 flux between the atmosphere and lakes is helping us to answer that question. So one of our main research projects now is looking at mussels, quagga mussels primarily, in the nearshore zone and the role that they play in nutrient cycling and energy cycling in Lake Michigan. I want to grab a line, Phil. I think there's quite a current. We have evidence that offshore waters are being depleted of plankton, and as a result, fish populations are suffering in the offshore waters. And so the question we have is, are the mussels responsible for that? Are the mussels eating so much plankton that it's depriving the rest of the food chain in the lake of plankton? To answer a question like that, you really need to have measurements from a lot of different locations on the lake and you need to make those measurements frequently in time because carbon dioxide can change from day to day and from location to location. To be able to do that, we had to develop an instrument that we could put on the lake that would work more or less autonomously to continuously collect CO2 concentrations on the lake and from the air over the lake. And then we had to have platforms to deploy this instrument on the lake. And we have two platforms now. One is a buoy that we station in the near shore zone. And then uh, we have another system that we put on the high speed, speed ferry, the Lake Express, which crosses Lake Michigan between Milwaukee and Muskegon. The Lake Express goes in back and forth across the lake about 70,000 nautical miles each year. We collect data all the way back and forth. So we're collecting each year over 100,000 data points. I think that's really where the large leap that it happened with this system and what makes the Lake Express system so exciting. Scientists and engineers and uh, computer specialists have all gotten together uh, to produce these products that help us to better address science questions on Lake Michigan.